Hi guys, 18 Dapper here and welcome to this video, it's another match preview and this time, League 2 football, we head to the new lawn it's Forest Green Rovers versus Doncaster Rovers, let's get the video started So guys, welcome to this match preview, Forest Green Rovers versus Doncaster Rovers in League 2 this weekend if you're an existing subscriber thank you so much for sticking with the channel and supporting the channel it is greatly appreciated if you're new to this and this is the first video that you've seen please consider clicking subscribe so you don't miss any future content and this is a format that we go through match previews we'll look at previous meetings between the two clubs current form across all competitions player profile i choose a doncaster rovers player just to say a few words about and then i give my opinion on the opponents one to watch so i pick a forest green rovers player and say that that individual is the player to watch but as i always say you know your club much better than what i do so if you think there's somebody else us rovers us doncaster rovers fans should be watching out for get them in the comments down below and then we have the predicted team lineup thanks to fan hub um, and then the predictions league table which me and the family do for every league game and then the all important score prediction at the very end so without further ado let's get into previous meetings Forest Green Rovers and Donny Rovers have only faced off a total of 10 times in our history and it's good reading for us Donny fans. Six wins, two draws and only two defeats out of those 10 fixtures. We drill down into the more recent five fixtures and it was all in the conference in our short period down there, which hopefully we never go back down there. Um, but we met in the conference um, 10 times. So we go back to 2001 and it was a 3-0 home victory and then the 2001-2002 season um, a double win 5-1 at home that would be very nice tomorrow an away 5-1 win um, and a 2-0 away win I'd take that as well <laughs> and then the 2002-2003 season it was a 1-0 home victory and a 2-1 away victory so the last five results Donny Rovers coming out on top in every single one of them hopefully that pattern continues because we are desperate for a win but as are forest green rovers current form like i say doncaster defeat 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 draw defeat it's been a poor last five games it's been a poor season poor start to the season um forest green on the other hand coming into this in better form with a defeat a draw two wins and then a defeat in their last game as I said, Donny still awaiting our first win of the season um, after a defeat at Wrexham last time out. And it was another game where the performance probably didn't match the results. And it's something that we, we seem to be saying every single week. And it's not good. Something's got to give soon um, and hopefully relieve some of the pressure, which is bound to start mounting on the players and the manager. Um, I don't think it's mounting quite yet. I think there's a lot of fans that are, that are patient and willing to give this time and, and think that it will turn so the pressure's not there from from inside the club there's a bit bit of noise from outside the club at the minute about grant mccann and if he's the right man for the job and you'll have seen it on social media i think people looking in from the outside don't quite see what the fans are seeing from the inside i'm seeing passion commitment um drive determination the results will come i think this game though is a chance for the Rovers, Doncaster Rovers, to play with a bit of freedom and have a go. Forest Green will be hurting, they'll be licking the wounds from the 4-1 defeat last time out. So I think we just need to hit them quick, hit them hard, and hopefully bring three points back to Doncaster. And for me, it is a very early must win for Donny, in my opinion. Um, like I say, we're yet to, yet to taste victory in the league this season, so it is needed um, sooner rather than later. Forest Green, on the other hand, um, they've only scored more than one goal in two of their last 40 games across all competitions um, and non-competitive games as well. So one of the games was a 2-0 win over West Brom in a friendly before the season started. And then the, the more recent one was a 3-0 victory over Shrewsbury in the Papa John's Trophy um, a couple of games back. So very low scoring team. Like I say, we've just got to hit them quick hit them hard get a couple of goals and then just keep on pushing um it's been a tough start for forest green on their return back to league two season currently in 19th place with two wins and a draw from their opening seven games and like i said it feels like it's a must win early must win game for donny but i think it feels like a bit of an early six pointer uh for both teams if nothing else just to help kick start either team season um so yeah it's going to be 
it's going to be either high tempo, interesting, absolute entertainment, or it's going to be a nervy nil nil. On to player profile for this one, I've gone with Mo Far for Doncaster, 20 years old centre forward. He was brought in on a season long loan from West Brom. Uh, and he's made six appearances so far for this season for Donny, scoring his first goal last week and decent header in the right place at the right time. And for me, he's, he's shown clear ability when, when he's on the ball and it, it's crazy. He somehow just gets past players, breezes past them. He looks elegant with the ball at his feet, but at the same time, he looks a little bit like a newborn giraffe, um, very tall long legs doesn't seem to know what he's doing with his legs at some sometimes but manages to to come clear of, of players more often than not he's, there's, there's parts of his game which clearly need work his first touch um his, his distribution releasing the ball um bringing other players into into play there are areas that need work but he's a young lad but for me you can see that there's a serious player in there and i hope we see that come out of him uh, more as the season goes on so hopefully the goal last weekend gives him a bit of confidence and he, uh, he gets another one tomorrow moving on to the opponents one to watch so as i said at the start of the video you know your club much better than what i do so if you think there's somebody else who should be mentioned at this point of the video get him in the comments down below but i have gone with tyrese omatoye may have butchered that name i am sorry um if you can spell it out in the comments down below i would appreciate that uh, but i've gone with tyrese um because he is forest green's top scorer slash assist maker he's created or been part of four goals this season um i think there's there's a player on three his name escapes me but tyrese has, has been involved in in the most goals for forest green rovers this season 20 years old center forward 121 career appearances only 21 goals so he'll be looking to add goals to his to his game this season but i think with tyrese what you get is a bit of flair and a lot of pace which could put our defense under pressure tomorrow and um, 11 assists in his career as well so far so i think he could be one to watch in tomorrow's fixture moving on to the predicted team lineup this is thanks to fanhub if you've not downloaded the app yet please go ahead and do so as you can see i am sporting the away shirt from fanhub um, decent little app, plenty of features to get stuck into and more getting added as time goes on. I use it mainly for the predicted team lineup in my previews and this is what I'm going with for tomorrow's fixture. I'm going Lawler in goal, a back three of Bailey, Wood and Senior, Molyneux and Maxwell as wing backs. Obviously Tommy Rowe still out so I'm going with Broadbent, Westbrook and Biggins in the midfield with Ironside and Farl up front. Um, so I think that is maybe a couple of changes from from saturday's defeat at wrexham um obviously hollow out wood back in should be back from his injury um but yeah who knows it's swapping and changing a lot at the minute so it'd be nice to see a settled team start to, to start to form and and get that first win and hopefully go on a bit of a run but that's the predicted lineup that i'm going with for tomorrow's fixture Onto the predictions league table. So if you are new to this, me and the family predict the scoreline for every single league game. If we get the scoreline spot on, we get three points. If we get the outcome of the game right, but not the scoreline, we get one point. If we get completely wrong, it is nil points. And it's been a lot of nil points this season. And it was the same last weekend. None of us went with a defeat, so no moves in the table. Max still stays top on three points. And then all the rest of us in joint second on the solitary point this season. It looks very similar to Rovers' points tally at the minute. Um, hopefully improvement on the table and the scores after this one and that takes me on to my score prediction um, as I say it's a must win in my opinion uh, but it's a must win for probably both teams so I think it's going to be more entertaining than nervy I'm hoping the entertainment comes from the away team um, we desperately desperately need a win the stat about Forest Green um, not scoring more than one goal in so many league games it's, it's ridiculous it's probably pointing towards an absolute hammering for, for Donny <laughs> it's what we're used to uh, but I am I'm sticking with the boys and um, as I said at the start of the video I think outside looking in it looks like there's it's absolute turmoil at Doncaster inside I think it's very different I trust McCann's going to turn this around and I hope that this is the game where it starts because I am sticking my neck out and going with a 3-1 away win. 
and that will start a decent run and a climb up the table for Donny. That's where I'm going to leave this video. If you've enjoyed it, please stick a big thumbs up on it for his comments in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.